every human being on the planet has about 100 trillion bacteria that live in and on their bodies. The place where this threat is the most imminent is at the lining of the intestines. And if you were to spread the entire intestine out and sort of flatten it out, it would cover a football field. So it's a huge piece of real estate and it's in contact with this vast community of bacteria. So this is a big problem. So how do you solve it? So one way that your body solves this problem is by having the lining produce a number of little antimicrobial bombs. These are little antibiotic proteins. They help patrol your borders to keep these bacteria from invading into your deeper tissues and causing disease. One of these little antibacterial landmines that you make is called lysozyme. If you have foodborne pathogens, salmonella for example, if these microorganisms, these bacteria invade your, the cells of your lining, they can disrupt these antibacterial proteins. What we discovered is that the cell has an alternative route. It has the lysozyme take a detour through an alternative pathway. So it still gets to the surface of the gut and it still gets ejected into the gut lumen where it can do its job. We think that part of the problem people who have inflammatory bowel disease may, may have is that they can't get their antimicrobial proteins out to the surface of their gut in the event of a bacterial invasion, and this might lead to inflammation. By knowing what goes wrong, there's a great potential to develop very specific drugs that can target this pathway, or we can figure out how to get around the problem in a different way.